The following video is going to show you how to create a blog with Blogger. Now I've already done this in some other videos, but this is an updated interface, so I just wanted to kind of recreate it even though it's basically the same thing. The first thing you need to do is go to blogger.com and you're going to sign up for a Google account if you don't already have one. Otherwise, if you have one, just simply log in. You're going to come to this page. Notice how I already have blogs. Um, if you don't have one, you're going to have to create a new one. So let's do that. We're going to click the new blog link. We're going to create a title, my EDN 303 blog, because that's a course I'm teaching. And then you need to pick an address. So your address is going to be something.blogspot.com. This is the address you'll turn in for your assignment or the address you would give to someone if they wanted to go to it. So myclasspastor.blogspot.com. Then you're going to simply pick a layout. You can just pick a sample one. It doesn't matter because you can change that later on. I've now created my blog. I can edit my blog. I can see all the different options or I can create a post. I'm going to start out by creating, well, let me show you what my blog looks like. Simple, no post. You can see an about me that's created when I signed up for my account. I'm going to simply create a new post, just a welcome. You can see that this page looks very similar to the old version of Microsoft Word. You can see like bold, italic, add a link, add an image. Um, things like that at a YouTube video very simply by just clicking this button you can add an image you can see what it looks like and I can simply upload a file or choose a file uh, image from the web or something like that I simply click welcome to my blog I'm gonna save it and publish I look at my blog now voila my first post alright what else can I do here I can add pages which are simply like um, various links like uh, if I wanted to create a links page in my blog, I can almost now create, almost make a website out of my blogger page. So let's create a new page, a blank one, and we'll call this my links. Then here are my links. I'm not going to actually put a link in, but we'll just create that page for default. It's defaulted not to show, so I want it to show. So I can do I want it to show the top, side, or don't. I'll just pick the side. We'll view now view our blog. Oh, I forgot to save it. I need to click Save Arrangement. Now we'll view our blog. There we go. So here are my pages. Home page, links page. If I click links, here are my links. Obviously, I don't have any yet, but that's where they would be. And I can create many pages, like an About Me page or something like that. All right. Comments, this is where I can edit comments if people are making them, especially if I get spam, although I can make this private so that people can't comment, but here is where I can edit the comments. You can uh, attach your account to Google+. Plus. Something really cool is I can see different statistics like how many people are clicking on my blog. Um, I can earn money. We're not going to talk about that at all. Layout is very important. Fabicon, that's the little icon that you see up here next to the URL sometimes when you're on a website. Um, I can change this around. I can actually move these as I want to to change what my page looks like. Um, so I can put my pages up top, pages in the bottom. I can actually put my pages above my blog posts. I can move around how I want this to look. Now another cool thing is, here is where it says add a, well this is how you edit your header. So if I wanted to add an image or something in my header, I can do that. Add a gadget is really cool. I click the add a gadget button and I can do all these different things. Um, some of the more things that you guys will actually probably do is add a search box. If I wanted to add HTML or JavaScript, like put a picture of myself in or a little about me, I could do that here. Um, same with the text editor, I can add a picture. If I wanted to add a picture to, at the sidebar, a slideshow, I can add a video, I could create a poll. Um, I could do other things like add something from Google, like a calendar. Um, or something like that. I can do all kinds of different things and I can actually search to find more of these because they're more popular, more gadgets, and you can find all kinds of things. I'm um, actually very cool to do all kinds of things. Uh, the template editor, let's click OK, it was asking me if I wanted to save. Here I can see what my page looks like on a mobile device and what it looks like here. I can change what this looks like by picking one of these different templates that they offer me. Um, and I can also customize it. When I customize it, um, 
I can do all kinds of different things. I'm not going to get into this, but this is I can change the background, change the size, the layout. Um, let's just go back without saving that. And I can also edit the HTML if I know how to do that. Then in the settings, um, this is where I can set permissions, like who do I want to be able to see this? So do I want it private for my classroom or not? Um, who do I want to be able to edit it? Uh, so if I want two people to edit it, here is my blog address that I would give to people who need to access this. And that's it. There's some other things here, um, but we're not going to get to them in this video. This is just a basic overview of how to do things. When you're finally finished, you can click your home button to see all your blogs. And this is how you would, what you would see when you log in again, how you would edit it. But this is my blog.